was recording. Hey family, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Coletta. Let's talk. So today I want to talk about um, Offset and Carly B situation. Like Offset got into this car accident and we had um, like different people saying different things like she was like a crackhead hit him but like once you see the damages that was done to the car you would like understand that it had to be like somebody that was drinking and driving like I don't know if it was offset or the other person that he got into the car accident with but clearly someone was intoxicated because the car looks a hot ass mess. I just want to put that out there. And Carly B covering up for it does not make it any better. So I'm going to need her to sit her pregnant ass down and have a couple of seats. They shouldn't have this girl be rushing to the hospital to check on him when he shouldn't have been out anyway. So, yeah, hot tea. <laughs> the next thing I want to talk about is... um. Let's talk about Nicki Minaj. Y'all know I had to throw that in there because I'm a Nicki Minaj fan. So, um, well, shout out to Carla B for that video that she dropped coincidentally um, for this car accident. She won't drop that Be Careful video um, that's now streaming. So make sure y'all check that out. She didn't even have Offset in the video. I thought that was a little weird, too. She didn't have Offset in there. At the end, the guy that she was marrying, it was a whole nother guy. It wasn't even Offset. And then the coffin scene, like, what that was about. I'm still trying to figure that out. So, I mean, she kind of played off the Kill Bill thing, which I thought was kind of cool. But, I mean, it didn't. her video really didn't match the song, in my opinion, you know, I thought she could have came up with, like, a better theme for her video, I wanted to, like, actually see, like, Offset cheating on her, Offset going to the hotel, Offset, like, wilding out, like, her, like, acting ratchet, how she was in love with hip-hop, like, I thought she was gonna bring that in the video, not be in the desert, hot and sweaty and dripping, <laughs> Like, what the fuck? But, um, yeah. So, um, back to Nicki Minaj. Okay. Uh, Nicki is like, yeah, y'all see Nicki? With her little video creeping on up on the charts. So, I'm real proud of Nicki Minaj. Keep on going up to the top, mom. And I want to uh, give a shout out to Sweetie. Her, um, she just did a performance, um, that turned out to be great. She did a live performance that was awesome. So, I'm, you know, a number one Sweetie fan. I always been. So, shout out to Sweetie. Um, some more tea. Um, Andy for Housewives of Atlanta. So, Andy said that he felt like Kim was being jumped on or like, you know, attacked like they attacked Kim at the reunion. And I think, Andy, you're full of shit. Okay? You're full of shit. They did not attack Kim. And like Mimi said, if they did attack her, she deserved it because she's been talking shit this whole time that you know, the episode been airing, so, like, I mean, you could dish it out, but you can't really take it, pretty much, so, like, don't be crying wolf, and then she got you feeling pity when she made a whole racist statement on a reunion, like, let's not forget about that, let's not forget about the racist statement that she made, and let's also not forget about her daughter, Brielle, starting this whole mess when she went into Nini's house and recorded a water bug and put it on social media. So let's not play the blame game and the victim game here because 
if anybody should have felt any type of way, it should have been Nene. Like, I'm on Nene's side for this. Like, child, please, sit down. Have several seats, okay? Go get some candy coated from the candy coated factory and sit your ass down. Because Croy obviously not doing a good job, okay? Shit. So, um, what else? Want to talk about um, this? Um, I really don't care too much about. Um, I don't want to say I don't care too much, but I never really was like you know, Nas and Cleese was like before my time, but not before my time, like. When I was growing up, I heard a little bit of Nas or whatever. But, you know, like, really know them. Like, how, like, Nikki and how, like, Rihanna. Like, I don't really know Nas like that or, like, you know, no Khalees like that. Um, but I know a few of her songs. And I got to hear her story about um, how Nas um, abused her. Um, he has a drinking problem, allegedly. And um, he used to abuse her and then he wouldn't remember what he did um I thought that story was quite upsetting because you don't really like know what like celebrities do behind closed doors like you would never think that that's going on and for her to speak out about it I thought that was very courageous so kudos to Khalees um her story is very touching I wouldn't think in a million years that Nas would be an abuser, allegedly. Um, but I mean, like I said, you never really know what people do behind closed doors, especially celebrities. Um, I think also the, oh shit, my video. Okay, so I think, um, also, like, this, uh, alcohol abuse is, um, pretty serious in Hollywood, like, I think they need to, like, slow it down a little bit, because stuff like that is happening, people are blacking out and not remembering what they're doing, and that's not what's up. So, I'm going to need y'all to chill the fuck out. So, let's talk about R. Kelly. So, y'all know I've been following the story. And, like, R. Kelly, like, what the fuck? Like, you've been out here in these streets walling out. And I'm, like, not surprised that Spotify has pulled all your music along with a couple of other people like Eminem and um, T.I. Like, y'all have made some great music. I'll give you that. i give you that. But at the same time, y'all are supposed to be encouraging and influencing the youth in a positive direction. Like... I would block y'all shit too. Not only on Spotify, but on Tidal, on fucking YouTube, on iTunes. Like, I will block it too because it's not inspirational to, like, you know, motivate our youth in a positive direction. There's more to life than cars and money and clothes and materialistic things. So, I mean, y'all should be showing, like, the hard work and the dedication that y'all put in to get to where y'all at. I think more people would be inspired by that instead of the glitz and the glam. Um, but back to R. Kelly. Like, I'm, I don't feel sorry for R. Kelly because you, you've been wilding out. And people keep trying to compare you to Hugh Hefner, which... I don't understand because that's a whole different like ball game. Like that's a whole different category of money. 
not just like even to narrow it down to colorism because it's not even about that, but that's a whole different type of bracket that you don't even coincide in. Like Hugh Hefner wasn't in there pissing on people. Like that's a whole nother level. Like you on some other shit. So um, I really hope that you do go and serve time. Because that's probably the only way that you'll wake up. I think at this point, you probably do need to go sit down for a little bit and go get your thoughts together. Because this is not what I would want to see you doing. Like, this is not, I don't think your train stops here because you're a great artist, but the type of lifestyle that you're living. And what you're doing to these young girls, keeping them hostage, treating them like dogs and animals and making them bark and all this other extra shit. Like, I don't think that's cool. So, um, I do think you need to go get some help. Um, serious help. Not just like no counseling and trying to do all these little side interviews. Because I heard you tried to do this little side interview with Wendy Williams. And like you had her feeling pity for you. But I don't feel pity for you. At all. Like. And then the fact that you can't read and write. Like that's what you should be doing. Why you got these girls hostage in your house. You should be having them teach you how to read and write. Like. You're not doing nothing productive. You're just settling and misusing and mistreating other people and taking advantage and you need to go sit your ass down somewhere and go think about it that's what i think you need to do go do some time and sit down and think because maybe that'll just change your mind about your outlook of what you're doing so also um tiara marie so i heard about uh Sierra Marie, um, they got the evidence of her smashing her ex-boyfriend car, and I thought it was, you know, I would have did some shit like that, I'm fucking with that, I'm, I'm fucking with that, you can't blame Sierra, like, the nigga was cheating, what, what do you expect, but that don't mean, like, leak the sex tape out, and then, to think that 50 Cent had something to do with it, too, like, I'm like, I'm not shocked because 50 Cent had to pay Rick Ross' baby mama when he was talking that shit to her. But, like, this like, the second allegation of you putting yourself in somebody else's situation. And now you got to come out your pocket and pay for what you said. Then to make matters even worse, you want to be petty. You want to make some petty statements and post up some petty pictures. And throw out some petty slangs and you're a grown ass man. That's probably like, I know you're sitting on money. Because power making that money. I know you're sitting on something. And plus the other ventures and businesses that you have. Okay, so you shouldn't have even responded. Even if you did have something to do with it. You, you tripping. Like a man of your caliber, you shouldn't be stooping so low to even be involved in these type of shenanigans. So I'm very disappointed in 50 Cent because I thought you would be doing a little bit better since you got some hit TV shows. I thought you would have had a little more common sense. But clearly you don't. You still got petty bitch ways. So I'm going to need you to work on that, okay? But, um, Tierra, like, you couldn't get another lawyer. You had to get the community lawyer. I'm stuck on that. Like, how you get the community lawyer who been trying to jump on everybody's ship? I mean, you got to give it to her. She got hard work ethic. She is tackling them cases. She getting on, getting on. But my thing is, I'm not seeing the end result of these cases. Didn't she have like four, five, six cases before Tierra Marie? What was the end result of all those? The final decision. I want to see the work. That's what I want to see. I don't want to see you just hopping on ship. Like, I want to see the work after you hop on ship. And what was the final decision to know that you're a good lawyer and that you're good at what you do while you hopping on everybody's ship. Okay. So, um, yeah. Also, Basketball Wives LA just uh, came on. 
the new season with Evelyn and Shawnee and Tammy and Jackie. So, and Jennifer. I can't forget Jennifer. Um, I actually uh, had like a little short um, convo with Jennifer on Instagram. And I really liked her story that she, um, her storyline that she presented on Basketball Wise, how she talked about domestic well, not domestic violence, but so much so of um, stalkers, okay, um, something that is very serious, and um, I thought, you know, that it was good that Shawnee allowed her to showcase that on the show, you know, because some people in real life are dealing with issues like that, so I thought it was pretty cool that I, you know, I told her that it was, you know, cool or whatever that she got to show to the world what she was going through because other people are going through it too and I like how she handled it so gracefully and um I like that she had support there Evelyn was there to support her that's a bonus um so you know I really like that so she um coming back uh luckily and I'm so thankful that she uh wrote me back she even uh, tagged my name in it, so that was pretty cool. I was screaming for, like, a good 15, 20 minutes because I was so amped up that she had wrote me back. So that was really cool. That was a nice moment. Um, but, yeah. So uh, that's all the tea that I have for right now. I hope you guys are enjoying your week. Um, I had two graduations. Um, this past week, uh, Friday, I had my uh, pre-K graduation for my baby, and Monday, yesterday, um, I had kindergarten graduation for my oldest baby. So, I've been kind of busy. Um, I've been trying to do some more videos. I hope you guys like my previous video that I did on Kanye West. Um, it took me a long time to get it uploaded, but I finally got it uploaded, so make sure you guys check that out. And also make sure you hit the like button, the share button, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. As always, see you next time on the next video.